tough language uh, and just uh, not that didn't make me feel good. Hateful words found scrolled across the walls at a tri-state place of worship. The person responsible still at large tonight. A warning for local congregations after a pastor says his Westchester church was targeted by vandals. Nine on your sides, Ashley Zilka is live at Life Church where she just spoke with him. Ashley. Well, Tanya, Pastor Randy Rice noticed the vandalism as soon as he pulled up to this first building, although he wouldn't go to go into any details. He says the graffiti was hateful and anti-religious. I would have never expected this. This was uh, a total shot to us. It hurts. Two buildings and in five different spots, although washed away now, Pastor Randy Rice says disturbing words covered parts of Life Church Westchester. Well, the interesting thing is, is, you know, I understand the political environment. I understand a lot of things that are going on. Unfortunately, there's a lot of hurt feelings and a lot of division. But we're here to bring healing. Pastor Rice says he has no idea who could have done this, and that's part of the reason why Rice says he wants people to know what happened to his congregation. Our hope is that people would be aware uh, that synagogues, mosques, uh, and leaders and congregations would be aware. Rice says it could have cost up to $2,000 to get the graffiti off of the buildings, but church members volunteered to clean it up and even brought their own chemicals and machines. Despite the hurt, Pastor Rice says he forgives whoever is responsible. He just wants to find out why it happened. We have nothing but love in our heart for, for people. Now, Pastor Rice filed a police report, but so far no one has been arrested. If you have any information at all, call the Westchester Police Department. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side. Thank you.